people all across Florida were waiting for a decision that just didn't come today from the state Supreme Court in Tallahassee, talking about two ballot initiatives that could go before voters coming up this fall in November, one for abortion access and then the other for recreational marijuana. Well, we now know we've got to wait until Monday to see if justices will allow them, because Good Friday's tomorrow, the court is out. Fox 13's Brown Ardano's here now to catch us things, catch us up on where things went. Uh, hi there, Brown. what'd you find out for us? Yeah, so Mark, supporters of both issues first had to gather thousands of signatures to even get these ballot initiatives before the judges. And as you just mentioned, the court is, is closed tomorrow for Good Friday, so many are still waiting on that yes or no. And either way, the rulings might impact voter turnout expectations. So I thought today would be the day. But Thursday was not the day for rulings from the Florida Supreme Court on whether two ballot initiatives will make it to voters in November, one on abortion rights, the other on recreational marijuana use for those 21 and up. We passed medical marijuana above, just above 60%. Ebor City hemp dispensary owner Carlos Hermida believes there's favor for recreational use. He's part of Suncoast Normal, a group advocating for legal cannabis in Florida. We have a, done quite a bit of research since the beginning of the organization. We found that uh, cannabis, whether adult use or medical, tend to all, always have some sort of benefit to the person using it. But not everyone sees it that way. Well, my perspective is I do have a daughter who experimented and started using marijuana regularly as a teenager and then she went on to much harder drugs like GHB, cocaine, um, ecstasy. As a member of the Hillsborough County Anti-Drug Alliance, Ellen Snelling is watching every move. And um, I'm still hopeful that it may not be on the ballot, but if it is, then I'm ready to go and I'm going to try to get the word out and educate people on what's happened in other states like Colorado and California. Floridians Protecting Freedom is leading the abortion initiative. It looks to enshrine abortion rights. The fight in Florida continues and certainly we will continue to work uh, until access is restored because we know it is the will of, of Florida voters. Both issues rely on voter turnout. Our political editor says it's already a big presidential election and uncharted waters. So it's not clear to what extent this will impact turnout. It could impact it somewhat, but Democrats who are expecting this to drive a big rush of Democrats who wouldn't otherwise cast ballots uh, may be quite mistaken. Now, the Florida Supreme Court will be issuing its out-of-calendar opinions on Monday, and those rulings, along with these ballot initiative decisions, are expected to come down at 4 p.m.